Manually setting the ISO can occasionally be very important. The first thing you want to do is get out of the auto mode. The auto mode will automatically set the ISO for you, so you don't have any kind of manual controls. So I'm going to go to the mode dial and set this to program. Now I can control the ISO. To manually set the ISO, you have two options. You can press the quick menu button back here, or you can press the ISO button right up here. I'll go ahead and press the quick menu button right here. Now you can use your navigation buttons to highlight the ISO field. Then you can either use the main dial right up here to set the ISO the way you want it, or you can press the set button and you can see all the different options and that way use the navigation buttons to set the ISO. You'll notice even when manually controlling the ISO, auto is an option. So normally when I use the program mode, I will set this to auto ISO unless it's a situation in where I need to control the ISO. Otherwise, the camera does a pretty good job of setting the proper ISO for you. As you can see, to escape the ISO function, you can either give it some time to go away by itself, or if I go back in, you can choose the ISO you want and press the set button. If I entered this function with the ISO button up here, you just press the ISO button again to escape.